Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with some news in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius because it's Wednesday and Wednesday means there's always news. So, uh, on this weekend you guys will be able to farm uh, some gil if you're lacking gills. Here's your chance to do the gill snappers cave and get richer and richer in this game. But that's not the main news we want to talk about. We're going to keep going. Uh, right here there's nothing written but basically if you guys did the uh, story event for um, CG Nicole where destinies intersect, you kind of notice that I was surprised when it finished at 85 uh, total energy, but what they're going to be doing, a total of 8 extra stages will be uh, will appear at the bottom of the story event quest, select screen after clearing the last quest, separated ways, Kupo, so we're going to get more story event to do, so more lapis, more stuff, so that's pretty amazing, so if you guys thought like me that man it's only 85 energy the last one what's going on uh basically they're gonna add some more so yes you will be able to farm a little bit more crisp and get a little bit more lapis for your pockets which is really really good uh on to the next one we're gonna get two new bosses this week uh the new quest awaits the Iron Giant, uh, deflect abnormal attacks and defeat the Raging Metal Armor. So, strengthen your guard on your Might Not Return Kupo. Uh, magic attacks are partic uh, particularly effective Kupo. You should guard against status ailments. This guy is one of the strongest you've ever faced. We're gonna see about that. So, this dude, uh, really strong. Really, really good uh, reward at the end of this. So you basically get the Iron Colossus, uh, Colossus which is a uh, heavy armor, attack 15 and defense 56. That thing is really, really good. Uh, so keep that in mind. This is really, really good. Uh, you get 100 Lapis when you complete the quest. You get a 5 star, 10% Moogle uh, if you use no items. If you use a Limit Burst, you get uh, heavy armor arts. So boost HP and defense when equipped with heavy armor, which is still really, really good. And Calami Calamity Border, boost defense, spirit, and fire, ice, lightning, water, wind, earth, light, and dark resistance for all allies. Uh, if you evoke an Esper, I didn't see the percentages on that, but hopefully it's something like 20%, which would be really, really good. Uh, so uh, I can't wait for this boss. Magic attacks are, par uh, are effective, so we're going to see what we can do about that, who we're going to bring in. Uh, maybe the new girl, Lexa, and we're going to try to chain those tornadoes with uh, Aeroga. Uh, we're going to see what team we bring on, but for sure, I'm going to bring the boy CG Nicole, because man, this guy is pretty amazing. Uh, on to the next one. We're going to go right here into gear. This dude's coming back, but a little bit stronger than he was before. Actually, a little bit, a lot stronger because the first one is really, really easy. Uh, same thing on Thursday after maintenance, you guys will be able to fight these guys. The fearsome, uh, the fearsome foes in the far plane grow even stronger. So attack and magic reductions are effective. Defense and spirit break are not effective. So you guys will be able to break his attack and magic, but you won't be able to break his defense and spirit. So. 100 Lapis when you guys beat him, uh, complete the quest, you get the Enhancer Plus, which we already have the original version, now you're gonna get the Plus version, which is a sword, attack 106, magic 23, plus 20% uh, HP and 10%, I guess they forgot to write something, maybe 10% magic, I don't know, uh, we're gonna see about that, uh, so that's a really really good sword. Uh, especially if you're kind of free to play and you're still at the beginning of the game and you have a good team Well, that's a good sword to have in your equipment Also, you'll be able to get a 10% Moogle if you use 3 or more Limit Burst If you evoke an Esper, you're going to be able to get a ticket Which is really good because you want that, those tickets for Mr. Rico Rodriguez Which we're going to talk about right after uh, If you defeat the Intagir with a Limit Burst Lion's Awakening, boost magic by 30% and add chance of activating meter when receiving a physical attack. So you're basically countering with meter. Uh, me, 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 meteor, meteor. So you're basically countering with that, which is really, really cool. Uh, you'll be able to do this fight in the chamber of the Indigen, Indignant. Man, I have a hard time with these words. The chamber of Indigen, Indignant, whatever, you guys know exactly where that is, so uh, that's a new, another cool boss we're going to be able to fight, uh, that's good, the more bosses, the more fun we get in this game. Then, we're going to keep going right here, we finished the raid event, we started a second raid event, 
and why not go into a third raid event so for basically six weeks in a row you guys will have raid events to do uh i guess we're gonna find a chopper or a apache or whatever whatever it's called so raid seven period friday the 22nd uh 22nd to friday the 13th july if i may so so that one's gonna be uh that one's gonna be cool we're finding a chopper so uh golden orga mistle appears in dimensional vortex uh you get these coins you're gonna be able to summon we're gonna be able to get moogles that's really cool we're gonna get some uh six star materials uh to awaken so that's really really cool and uh with the uh, stuff that you're gonna get here in the raid summon you'll be able to craft these little bad boys so we're gonna go over these things uh rico's wingsuit defense and spirit 20 percent wind resistance 30 percent that's really really good and uh, enable agility agility caster can dodge some physical attack once after a battle begins or after being revived so that's really really cool that's an accessory then rico's combat glove uh combat gloves uh earth elemental and 90 percent uh, 90 percent wow 90 attack so simple gloves they're still free to get so why not get them and uh, GE 64, a throwing weapon, attack 30, magic 70, fire elemental. Uh, I still think of Light Veritas. I love putting throwing weapons on her, especially get, she gets a boost on it. And you'll be able to craft other uh, equipment, which is the CS Wraith uh, 225R, uh, which is all guns, UVK 13, and the U24 Zabi Chak. Uh, really cool. So same thing as the normal you guys will get your orbs they will fill every hour and you guys will be able to summon for this guy right here in the raid summon and we're gonna go over teo is a tm boost attack and spirit when equipped with a gun the rest is really simple are you guys gonna level up this guy probably not he's just there for his tm which is okay and uh nothing crazy right here but nonetheless just having the whole characters of uh, Just Cause 3 will be pretty, pretty fun. And you'll be able to get a lot of things, guys. You guys can see right here the Moogles. Uh, the uh, sixth. Uh, did we see the 6-star? I thought we saw the 6-star materials before. Well, uh, maybe uh, they put it up there. So maybe it will be... Yeah, right, there you go, right there. So you'll be able to get those things. Uh, which is really, really, really good. Moving on to the last one. So, because we're getting the raid... We're getting a new banner just cause three uh they announced it last week so you guys will be able to pull for mario frigo anika svensson and mr rico rodriguez uh you guys can see right here this stuff he's more of an attacker uh protect grappler g3 that's his trust master attack 40 enables heroic dodge and insurrection heroic dodge chance of evading physical attack and insurrection boost attack by 20 percent and these things are for just cause three units so if you get a stress master you can just put it on him for him to use it uh, featured abilities chaos object oming deal partial unmitigated unmitigated damage to all enemies triple spray attack three enemies chosen at random and uh, teeter damage and chance of spot stopping one enemy moving on to mr mario frigo he's more of the hp boy uh a stress master Frigo and etc, which is really funny the name. Boost attack and physical damage against Machina Monster and enable Rebellion. Rebellion, restore MP and LB, gauge, fill each turn. So just cause three units again. Uh, is featured abilities, Rebel Drop, damage and inflict random uh, status ailments on one enemy. Then he has Mugello V Stosa, damage and cast this spell on all enemies this this actually is pretty good if you want to cast this spell on the enemies especially if you want to dispel the whole party that thing is not bad at all and uh Urga Stu stupka 210 uh damage and chance of confusing all enemies that's his move not the whole thing but that's part of his move then the last one basically the three star going into five star which is really cool because we get one four star one five star and one three star on this one anikas benson She's more on the attack, but she's a 3-star, so nothing crazy here. Distraction, that's her trust master. Boost HP by 20% and enable fire starter. Fire starter basically reduces fire resistance for one enemy. Probably it's going to be around the 50% mark or maybe 45-40%. We're going to see this. Then her featured a little bit at least. 
I've got this, deal partial unmitigated damage and reduce fire resistance for all enemies. Uh, finders Keepers, boost drop rate of items from enemies. And Mercenaries Cut, boost guild obtained by defeating enemies. Uh, I don't know how strong that is, but interesting. Interesting nonetheless. So, this is for the news. Uh, Just Cause 3 event, really cool. I can't wait to play. I can't wait to see what they're going to put. And guys, we're getting closer and closer to that two-year anniversary. Guys, let me know what you think about and uh, what you think about that Just Cause 3 collab in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if you're excited to pull on these guys. I'll probably pull. I don't have a lot of tickets. I have a little bit of lapis also saved up. So we're gonna see if we pull Mr. Rico Rodriguez this Friday, guys. Like always, if you like the channel, uh, if you like the video, please like down below. Press that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet, press that red button. Subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.